I put the spotlight on your city. See no superstars. Superstar. Superstar. Hollywood to Hollywood. Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. baby. A key modeling, baby. baby. ATL, D. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina Fields. I put the spotlight on your city. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back once again Monday, Spotlight Over the City. I am your host, Stan Long, along with my super-duper co-host, Mrs. Robin Bryant. That's me. That's you? That is me. Did I give you the right to... When I say super-duper, is that you? Yeah, but we'll get into it. Yes, I, mean, I, I am, thought, I I am the super-duper. my duper. co-host. She's a super-duper co-host. Thank God for my co-host. Miss Robin looking lovely, making me look good every week. I appreciate her. I do be looking good, but I'm saying she helped me a little bit along the way. So what's going on with you? How you make out this weekend? You had a good time? What you do? I moved this weekend, so I am sore, back hurting, everything. I am so glad you ain't called me. For no, I did thing. call you, actually, and you wasn't there. So I everybody, ate. I just want you to know, I asked Stan <laughs> a week ago to help me move. Matter of fact, he didn't have to help me. I just needed him to kind of be there, and he wasn't there. So I just I want y'all to know that. Whatever, he could have came know, back. For you. All due respect, hey, partner, he could have came for you, back. Partner. If he was going to ride for me and with me, he would have been back. On Friday, and that's all I'm gonna say to that. I mean, moving on. I had good intentions though, but in all honesty, moving not my thing. I, I didn't ask I you to movers. move that one box. I paid movers. I didn't ask you to move not oh, one box. Oh, you didn't box. want me to move nothing. You just wanted me to come. Yeah. So anyway, so you got everything moved. See, that's everything. what I'm talking I'm just about. Asking. It don't even matter though. If you really was riding for me like that, about everything. No, no, no. No, if you was really riding with me like that, whether I needed you, because I'm going to give a shout out to the seven girlfriends who did show yeah, up and packed girlfriends? up for me. Uh-oh. Yes, they was there. What? Okay. Well, they see, that's was the there. girl power thing that needed and to they, happen. And they, when I say they had my whole house packed up in, I mean, two hours and a half y'all pa- flat. Y'all, oh, so y'all packed. The girls packed. Yeah, and the movers moved. Oh, well, you ain't need me anyway. Y'all handle that business. Salute to the girls. They Salute did the that. When I tell you, I got the girls. best friends in the world. They, they showed that business. up and showed out. I, I owe them it. something. I owe yes. them something. And, and when sure you have the party for them, and you, you won't be there, <laughs> and that's for sure. Man, you didn't help out. There. You, you won't be there. Me and order coming mm, through. There. Okay. Shout out to order. We got Shout a special out to guest order. in the building, so we're gonna be on good behavior today a little bit. Try to do our best to be on good behavior because we got the big homie order in here. And we're going to get some order in your life. And that's what we're going to do. But we got good news, y'all. Some prayers worked. That's right. The Avani Laws, the one that I had on last last week, who was missing since September. 15-year-old. She was found this weekend. She was found. Thank, Thank God the Lord. For that. See? Thanks, prayers, thanks for your work. prayers. And thanks, thanks for, for putting community. it on your page. That's right. Everything. Everybody Getting who it rallied out there. around her and tried to get the support out there and made it known. Thanks for that support. Thank God for everything that happened. She's safe. And uh, we don't know the full story, but we, we do, just know, do she's know she's found alive. And that's, that's right. the blessing in it all. So that's some good news. See, media does report good stuff sometimes. We do here at Spotlight over the city anyway, right? Yep. Yeah, hey, we keep it on the positive. So on to the word on the street. Well, Miss Kim Kardashian is upset. Once again, at little Kylie, she's mad because... Why we keep I talking thought, about this? We keep talking about this every week like well, we it's don't, really news. Well, it is. It ain't news. Who but cares about Tyga, well, uh, Kylie, Kim? All who cares? The public wants to know sometimes, so you got to give them what they want. They want to know about it because... I didn't think that they was actually dating. I thought that they were I friends. I thought they said they, they weren't dating. They the neighborhood. They, they kind of like had kind of been around each other growing up. But then they were saying, they, nah, because now Black China is upset. And, you know, that's Kim's girlfriend and Kim in the middle. And well, Kim said she had a point there. She said that it's kind of girl, it's a girl code. It should be anyway that you don't date your friends or family. Or, you know what I'm saying? And she's, if she's Kim's friend or whatever and been around the family all this time, then she's considered family. Well, y'all got to get in the chat room and help me with this one because she just brought up a good point. This is what I wanted to ask you. The girl code thing. When is the expiration date? And there should be date? a man code, just, too. It is. But let me ask you, because I've been experienced, I experienced this before. Uh-huh. Is it not a timeline? Like, okay. Let's just say me and you dated 20 years ago. Uh-huh. Right? Let's say you get engaged uh, here recently, and you tell your husband about the situation. Should your husband feel like me and you shouldn't be friends because we ever dated? 
or well, is it, it a time frame where you're supposed to be a get over it? Okay, line. well, hey, Kiki, you know I see you in the room. What's we going, already Kiki? discussed the Albany. But um, I believe it depends on the people. Number one, you have to have mature, grown folk, okay? Yeah. If you want something like that to work. And see, I only, I'm only i only going to be able to date mature, grown folk because I need to be able to talk about whatever it is and you're going to be able to deal with it or not. And so if you patty, like you might wind up being in certain situations, <laughs> then... You know, just because, I know, just because I know you, <laughs> then, you know what I'm saying, then it okay. might not work in your situation. Well, but okay, what you call Wait petty. a minute, hold on, but then we talking about an expiration date. I also, on the flip side of that, believe that there probably is, as for instance, if I dated somebody 20 years ago, there are no feelings at all, and I have a girlfriend who's been single, and I think that y'all might make a good couple, I don't see the point in why it can't work. Why? Why no, would I block that? That's being mature. I because like it that. ain't enough men out here to be doing all of that, so I think that, you know what I'm saying? I think that if y'all two are going to be happy, then make it then work, right? Make it work. My thing is, and then maybe I'll get a blessing like that from another situation. I don't see the point in doing all that, but you, on the other hand, I mean, might have a problem with that. Well, this is my thing. I believe that if you being honest about the situation, mm -hmm. then I can handle it. But I just don't believe women be being honest. Women be being sneaky and doing vindictive No, that's stuff. the men that's so, being sneaky because y'all lie so much. Well, y'all yeah. lie a lot. All of us? Most of y'all lie <laughs> a lot. <laughs> well, I mean, so y'all can't keep it real. I mean, we do keep it real, but y'all can't handle the truth like my man said. Oh, come so on. at the end of the day, we try to keep it real. But my whole thing with this timeline is I, I got into a situation at one time and I dated somebody that was, I used to date her girlfriend back in the day. Mm. Well, she, that was a horse move. Well, but anyway, horse go move. ahead. She, she got, well, the time, had, that's why I say the what, time. What, what, what was the time? Damn, like? 20, 20 oh, years. 20 years? Yeah. So but like, did you talk to her about it? Well, I, well that's, I, what I, okay. over, that's what but, I would suggest. This is what I did. Now, you tell me, you the woman, tell me if I did handle this. Y'all tell me if I handled this right, y'all. Instead of me going to the girl that I used to date, I said, this your girlfriend. You should tell her that you trying to see me because I don't owe her nothing. I haven't dated her in 20 years. That's not my girlfriend. But was she still your friend? No, I don't talk to her okay, at so all. Okay, so that's I have no see, all of my with exes. Her. You know what I mean? Except for maybe one right now. That's all of my exes, exes. All your exes. That's are, what sound like. That don't sound they right. They are friends of mine. Like, they I'm exes really for friends. a reason, right? But I'm friends with them. Well, why you ain't just stay with them? Why you? Who why said you? that we was good in a relationship? I said I'm friends with them. I'm cool with them. We're going to bring so this up. We're going to have to make is, this another topic. No, because because, this so go what far. I'm saying is, no, because you're trying to make it what it's not. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. cool with everybody I've ever dated. What y'all think about that? Is it, is it supposed to be a, a, because see, okay, would it be so the same I if you would, just I broke up with the person maybe three years ago and you haven't went on, you don't have a husband, you don't have children, and maybe... If it didn't work out, I, know I can't speak for the three years, but what I'm saying is if it didn't work for real, for real, if it didn't work out, I mean, we're in our 40s. I mean, we are. You see what I'm saying? So, are we? Yeah, and I you am. are really humping on 50, <laughs> so stop it. Don't do that. But I ain't humping on 50. I'm not 50. humping on 50. That's the first thing I'm not. So stop it. Humping on 50. You're not. <laughs> I don't like how you said that either. Okay. Humping and 50. That don't even sound like you supposed to say humping on 50. I'm not humping on no 50. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this so is a buffoonery I got to go through Stop trying to act week. like we ain't in our 40s, but we are, yeah. okay? So anyway, I'm looking good. So three, years, I'm, I'm, so three years might be a good enough time frame to be able to move on. and I'm and, not going to say pass them on because that sounds... So I'm asking, do you think it's proper that the girlfriend should have come as not me? Because you're not... I don't I, you I that. Your girlfriend that, is your girlfriend. I, I'm not you your girlfriend. You know what? How about y'all do it together? No, I don't owe nobody. Look, I told. <laughs> see, listen, see listen. you getting all upset. I mean, yes, you see what no, I'm, I'm not. But I, but I'm. What I'm saying is, I just don't believe that I'm obligated to go and, and rectify something with your girlfriend. But it's you was my the girl, one that dated girl. the girl. So yeah, but I'm be, done with that. No, no. That was no. like 20 years ago. So now, to not destroy you and your girlfriend relationship, you owe her that. I don't owe her that. It's not my girl. I don't even talk. To but her. if you want to date this other girl in peace, then I think that y'all should do it together. Mm. Period. Well, well, why? But why she can't rectify it on her own? Like she gonna why say, "Why nah, y'all can't be mature, say, nah, girl, too mature adults you can, you can and do it because because you need to see her reaction just as well as she need to be see her reaction because if she don't if she not down with that then both of y'all need to see that. 
If I'm, if she not down, and with, if she ain't down with it, are y'all gonna keep moving forward? Kiki, what you think? I think it's gonna be on her girlfriend. Like her girlfriend is to make that call, wherever that's gonna sever their relationship. Cause me and her don't have one. That's what I'm saying. I'm not talking. But if you wind up being with her girlfriend and it wind up being a rift between the girl, but between the two girls, now you looking crazy and it's going to be a problem. You and the girl ain't going to work out because it's always going to be a problem. It's going to be a rift. So that's how I feel about you dating all your exes and if you was my Who woman. said I, I was mean, dating them? I said I was to cool them and hanging with out with them. them. I don't talk to them and hang around with them. So, yeah. I don't talk to them and hang with them. So okay. you making up so, yeah, stuff. We gonna get that's back how in. stuff gets started. <laughs> so yeah, because Chris Brown, y'all. See? Chris Brown didn't mess around. <laughs> oh my God. Talk about it another time. I don't want you to get all of your feelings and get mad because about Because you making up stuff. That's how rumors get started. <laughs> right here on Spotlight Over the City. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the word on the street, just like Chris Brown. We're giving the word on the street. Chris okay. Brown then messed around and got all in uproar and told Tamar she looked like a Muppet and all this. I mean, she I, do kind of look like a Muppet, I, I ain't but I'm just she saying. Do. I seen it with no makeup. But I, I like, like Tamar. Like, you know what? I love Tamar, actually. I seen she's Tamar, very entertaining. And I said, oh, my God. That's Tamar. Like, she's I didn't very know. entertaining. Yeah. I'm just here well, to let you know. She's funny looking, though, without you know the makeup. What? But anyway, shout out to Tamar. I like Tamar. But Tamar, but he didn't have business. to come out his mouth yes, like that. Okay, what did she say? She said too much. She, she started talking about how he not good for the new girl and like basically based on his past, you know, physical altercations. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe that. I don't. You can't say based on my past, I'm not good for somebody. I might not have been good for you, but another woman come, I might be perfect for her because maybe I grew. And so okay, this whatever. Man did so, his but voice. why? So he had to come out his mouth. So my thing is, everything's so always tip her, for tat. So he told her, shut the hell up, your mumpet face. You know what? B I T C A. That's down. what he said. Okay, too. well, calm uh, down. But I get to do my Chris Brown moment. Mind your business, your uh, your muppet. Uh, what else he said to the other girl? I don't know. I'm, I'm yeah, he went at off. You. Yeah, and Adrian Ballion, whatever <laughs> name he told her too. Because Shut it, your actually, mouth up. it actually looks like um, you're having anger issues right now. You now might need to go enjoy- back and see your uh, person because <laughs> the way you coming I off. Would, I mean, I'm taking up for him because at this point, I'm tired of them trying I'm to I'm tired of you taking ass. up for him. Why take up for him? He because said- he did what he did to try to rectify his his ill behavior. He did a mis- made a mistake, but he did rectify. And don't be trying to keep saying he a beater, woman beater, and this and that. Like every week he beating somebody and all that. He he may, man ain't he, doing he that. He might be. How Tony you know? Bra- Tony 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 need to mind her funny looking bitch. Oh my goodness. You and you are something Vince. else. Anyway. Yeah, so, I like Vince. Yeah, I like Tony and Vince. So anyway, that's your homeboy? Yeah, I like I like yeah. He cool. You talk to him? Well yeah, sometimes he called me once a month. Invite me to a little private function. Oh really? Like mm-hmm. In LA? Yeah. You wanna go to one? Yeah, I do. Okay. Hey, Prove it Vince. to me. We're going to take Robin next time. <laughs> Prove so it to me. We're on the guest list. I don't want to be on the imaginary guest list. <laughs> but, okay. Are you trying to say these are not just, my real I'm friends? I'm just saying. Okay, we moving on. What's Ray up, Rice. Chantel? We seen you. She said you were staying on hilarious. Nah, because he... Anyway. Anyway, we ain't going to do that. Nah, uh, we're gonna be, we got guests. I'm guess. trying to... So, Ray Rice is, is a real big deal for me. This why is why? Cause we because we just talked about like the Raven, Because his appeal hearing is coming up. And that's big because he's going to sue them. For his thirty some million dollars that they owe him. Why and do you think that he should they not violated have paid his that? contract? No, they should not have been able to it's called it's it's the double jeopardy rule. Okay, so what you think should have happened? It's getting ready to happen. They're getting ready to reverse it. That's what you think should yes, happen? Yes, they're going to reverse it. No, I'm gonna... saying for his actions, what do you think was good for his actions to have happened and be done with it? Well, they gave him a two game suspension and that was that's You thought that was good enough? Well, I can't make the call where it was good enough, but once you gave me that sentence, you can't if you sentence me, I go to but court. But that's because they didn't see the whole no, thing. No, they at that did. Time. That's the problem. Roger Goodell saw it. You saw it, Roger Goodell. And then you fronted well, he you tried said to say face didn't. with the NFL. He said that he didn't. No, and that's that was the reason a press, why I had to come back. No, he didn't told a lie. And I know you lying because How you know he lying? Well, you was there? Well, because a personal friend of mine, I got sources oh. that told me that he already knew about that tape because Ray Rice uh, revealed that to him um, some time ago. Actually, it was um, like on the 11th or something, like months ago. He did that. Yes, he uh, did. Okay. And, and I know it because I'm, I'm riding for Ray. Right. So at the end of the day, Ozzy Newsom, that's who told me about it. That's, okay. that's actually the general manager of the Ravens. So he's Ozzy backing, personally told you this? Well, that's in, what just, that's in an indirect way. And he's personally like... Going after the commissioner back in Ray Rice saying, yes, he did tell you that because I was in the meeting. Now, see, that's proof. He and was you there. had a conversation with Ozzy. Well, 
Anyway, that's that's not even here. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> All I'm simply saying, Robin, is that when they go to this trial, it's going to get reversed, and they're going to get that man his money. How you know it's going to get reversed? Because they well, did a, gonna, they did a disservice. We keep, will keep say, your eye in the media, we'll and you're going to see that in the next week, Ray Rice is going to be um, matter of fact. He should pay another thirty six million. I don't care. Now why though, Robin? Because because his that wife was don't say that. His wife that's is because she wants still. to be paid. That's why. Do you think that she would not say that? What's he going to say? What is she going to say? So, of course, she's going to stick by him. She need her money, too. No. She need her coins, too. She need to get some shekels. (laughs) What are you saying? (laughs) (laughs) On another note, Genuine, we're going to wrap it up with Genuine. The homeboy from D.C. is in bankruptcy. Mm. So, Uh, why is that news? Well, well, it's news. He's a celebrity. So, it's news because he's he's down and out? Well, not, not hoping that he's down and out, but... Unfortunately for him, the, the young <coughs> fella that wrote to help him uh, produce his first CD is suing him, and also. Oh my goodness! Uh, his, That's probably why he went in bankruptcy. Well, that, I mean, because I I called bankruptcy too. I've done yeah. it before. Well, he so owes I mean, three hundred thousand. Now I know how it works. Three hundred thousand. Trump, Trump has been in bankruptcy several times. Yeah, it's a business and move. And he's still right. Well, it's, it's not as much of a business move. move now because you know once we start doing stuff, sometimes it gets switched around. But it used to be a powerful business. A powerful one. And they made us believe that it was a And he bad might be business. he might be doing that. So he might be doing business. that because what's her name? Mm. Sol- what's her name? Sol- Salon. Sol- I mean no 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 not Salon. Uh Soleil. 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 What that's her name? Soleil. Soleil. Soleil is also uh, mm-hmm. they filed for divorce, so they've divorced Did that? and that's yeah, well now that they are, that's mm-hmm. a part of his financial ruin as well. So that's part of the other thing. So shout out to Jenny Wine. I hope you'll get it together, get money, man. Because I believe in the underdog. I need her to so get her money, to, too. Actually, man, order remind me of Jenny Wine a little bit. I was going to say the same thing. I was going to say the same thing. I was going to say the same thing. So we're going to say the same thing. And he kind of remind me of Jenny Wine when I first saw him. I ain't know. I thought he was going to rap. <laughs> then he was going to sing. Then he was going to rap. But then he was a hell of a Well, we'll see what he's going to do tonight. I think he's a rapper now. I think the verdict is Okay. Well, we'll see. So we're going to go to a commercial when we come back. Actually, we're going to go to a clip of Order. We have a young man coming up. He goes by Order. He is making a lot of noise in the industry. He's the up-and-coming artist that's going to really change the game. I like that he does things on a positive note. He's not spitting a bunch of, you know, buffoonery, which we need in the industry. So after this break, check out his commercial, and he'll be on set when we return. Spotlight over the city. All Night was a uh, record that I chose to do with my boy Bamboo, who's big in Kenya, yes, East Africa. So um, to show how we um, represent in the same way from here to there, from America to Africa, I flew over there. And um, I enjoyed the city, Nairobi, crazy. People look good, the food is hot um, and organic too. But we showed some of the hood, we filmed in some of the hood over there. Um, but well, we wanted to make it an international record to bring America and Africa together. Mixed match today with who, who am I? I'm the club killer. You know what I mean? I, I represent for the international market, Caribbean, international, American. We talk about all the Africans. You know what I mean? We represent for everyone. So let's talk about order. He has his new single called All Night. I want you all to go and check it out. Go and get it. Go and buy it. Whatever you do, bootleg it, like it, whatever. If you bootleg it, make sure you buy it afterwards. Because you know what I mean? You have to bootleg it, listen to it. And then you like it, they say, yeah, yeah I'm going to support this. A to the A, Atlanta to Africa. We doing it and connecting it on so many levels. Order, I look forward to seeing you at the top, my brother, sitting down to have dinner at the top and enjoy some of the things that take place with hard work, dedication, and loyalty, my brother. Peace to you, brother. Respect. Ice, like a ice, ice, like a ice, 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 like a What's up, world? It's the Fly Haitian Kid, DJ Cash, tearing up Atlanta, doing what I does all over your radio and all that. Shout out to the homie Order, man, doing what he does and doesn't doing it great, you know what I mean? The hustle is real, the grind is real, and doing this thing out here, man. Salute you, Order, doing what you do, man. I see you, respect, keep turning up. 
Keep smashing on them. Do what you do, man. DJ Cash, got some order in your life, man. Order in your life. For me personally, that means overrank them all. It means number one. You know, you gotta have that discipline to get what you wanna get. And you can only have that from structure. You wanna do little things a little free too, not be too structured, but you gotta have some order. You gotta have some goals. That's what I represent. That's my brand. That's what everybody has this. You have this. What up? My name is Will Wallace. I'm a national director of promotions at Warner Brother Records. Order represents what we all want to be. He's an entrepreneur, he's a businessman, he's a family man, he's a hustler, he's a grinder. Those are the type of people we need to support. Young black males don't have a lot of good role models out here, but this is the type of guy that they can look up to. He is a legitimate hustler. None of the illegal trash, none of the craziness. He's just a real man, a man's man. That's the type of people I look to support. That's the type of people I want to be a part of. That's the type of movement. He has order, he has balance, he has peace in his life. So you should go out and support this project. The music's good, the beats, the melodies, the rhymes, it's all on point. This is the type of guy that you want to be behind because you don't want to be the one of the people that missed out in a couple years from now when he on top, you looking like, oh yeah, I had a chance. No, you want to be in from the ground floor because I've seen this guy come a long way. He's been working five, ten years out here grinding, getting it, and now it's his time. <laughs> Spotlight of the City, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I'm your host, Stan Long, along with the co-host, the super-duper co-host, Mrs. Robin Bryan. And guess what? We done stuck order. In Don't he look like genuine? A.K.A. <laughs> 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 we got the homie order in the building, man. We've been talking about him for a minute. And he's also a part of Spotlight of the City as well. So you guys look out. You're going to see him in the street doing his thing. But we got a movement that we following him behind. And uh, we like what he's doing. This guy's bringing some posit positive energy. To the industry so welcome aboard order good to uh, have you on man thank you stan thank you thank you so thank you, tell me a little bit uh, no problem but before we get into it i, I want to know why you got these sunglasses <laughs> on because i can't take it what, what the sunglasses all about um <laughs> they sort of like my right smart now. glasses I'm high right now no, oh no, 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 no. okay no i was just giving y'all something to talk about i don't, <laughs> I don't wear glasses because i like the, to know I don't what wear the sunglasses is all about okay yeah, he could keep them on it's that all was a good. typical rapper move you know yeah i know and i still don't understand can you explain that to me oh it's just part of either part of your image or you cool or you high like you might not want people oh, to see Oh, even he's eyes. too cool for himself, though. He gotta have him on all the time, or he's high and his it, eyes it, are red. Yeah, he don't want you to see his eyes. No, if you if you in the if you on um if I was Snoop and I'm doing an interview, I don't want you to see my eyes red, so I wear my glasses. So you want to do Vizy? You know nothing like that beforehand. You could try, but you might be too high. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I always wanted to know. Thanks yeah. for so anyway. sharing that with us. So anyway, man, we're going to get into this interview because we want to try to get these questions out a little bit as far as the topic of the day. But we want to make sure we get you out there all the way. So first, tell us how you came up with the name Order. In other words, Order in your life. How did you come up with that? Well, um, I've been doing music like since I was nine. And I used to go by other names coming up. I'm sure everybody does that. And um, so uh, I got a certain level of success and then that success was kind of snatched away, so I was down about it and all that. And uh, so I was like, you know what, I need some order in my life. That's exactly what I said. Like, I lost a clique of friends, kind of I wasn't in the inside clique anymore. Mm -hmm. So I said, I need some order in your, in your life. And that's when, um, that was the day I decided I was going to put out independent records. And I changed my name to Order in Your mm -hmm. Life. And from there, that name has meaning. So. And that's O-R-D-A. Yeah, not oh, not, yeah. not order, or not duh. order. Right. So I have people, I have people call me older, and I'd be like, <laughs> "That's not my name, homie." <laughs> well, why don't you tell us a little bit about your story? I mean, the whole background of it. Well, order, order, order. Um. Well, my story is this: like, I, my father, when I grew up, he told me one hand washes the other, and so that means don't quit a job unless you have another job. So. Fast forward to today and all the artists today, they are now doing what I've been doing, mm -hmm. what I was taught. And that means like to have more than you have to be great at, not a jack of all trades. But if you're going to be a jack of all trades, you need to master all of them. So not a jack of all trades and a master of, of none. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to master everything you do. So and that takes time in each thing that you have to learn and do. So 
I always had a job. I would never be a starving artist. So I went to school for marketing. I did two years of that. And then um, I, uh, I was working with somebody one day as a barber because I was a neighborhood barber when I was making my records. And um, mind you, I produce all my records also. So That's I good. needed money to do everything I needed to do. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to depend on someone else to give me anything. So I always had a job while being an artist. No matter if I'm answering your question right. Well, you know, whatever background so you that's, want to that's give us so, about the story. So I went and so the background is this. I went I started being a barber, then I was working as a barber in a barber shop while I had a record deal. And the lady that worked next to me, she made like seven hundred dollars from like twelve from nine AM to maybe one o'clock. Mm. And I was like, How you make that money? So she was like, I did it. I do hair and if you learned how to do hair, you probably would pass me because of your personality. I was like, Okay. Never ever thought about doing hair before. So I went and got a, a cosmetology license. So I did mm. I did that and then by me doing that and um growing in that business while I'm making records I was making more money than my friends that had albums out. Mm -hmm. So I was able to live the life I want, put my independent records out, and uh, and I was able to. I understood business. Okay. By that. All right. So let me ask you something. Where are you from? I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. You from Baltimore? Yeah, All right. I'm Baltimore. I went to college in Baltimore. Baltimore. So I was in Baltimore. Yeah. I live in Baltimore myself. Um, got a lot of family from there. Home so, city. Yeah, <laughs> not Charm City, Harm City. Yeah, I know. I that's don't right. know nothing about that. I just went to Morgan State University. Well, you seen the Y? Yeah, and I went home to DC yeah. every weekend, so I wasn't really there. Oh, uh, so much, okay. You could try to just Baltimore, still, but that's where you got your education. I, I'm just saying that is where I got my education. I love Morgan State University. Well, tell us about the genre of music um, that you think that you fit in. Um. I've been doing music for a long time, so I think mainly you would put me in... I grew up listening to the radio, so whatever was popping on the radio, and I don't mean corny pop, I mean mm. just songs from the from the grittiest rap records. I, I, I probably fit in the same category as all the top dogs, Drake, um, uh, Wayne... Some of the old school cats. So is that anybody. singing and rapping or yeah, I've one always, of the yeah, I've always, I've Oh, you sing and rap? No, I don't sing, sing. But okay. I mean, I but don't. She about to try to make me Yeah, that's what she's going to do. Hey, hey, hey. Cry, you, know. you already know this. Because, know the city, I, well, though, first right? of all, you know, I mean, I might be like, won't you just sing us a little hook right quick? Well, Stan, I ain't going to forget you're supposed to be singing, uh, singing about the Cowboys, remember? But we'll do that towards the end. But anyway, I think I forgot. But anyway, y'all might have you go ahead on a sing a hook. I don't know. I just no, needed man. to know if it was singing or rapping sing. or both. It's just sing songy, but I actually write. I write and produce R and B, pop. It doesn't matter. I write rap. I'm I rap myself, and um, I write songs for other people too. Okay. So, but I'm not that's singing them. That's know. how you make the real so money that's right there. The <laughs> that's how yeah. you make the real Stroke money. That pen and like a, like, uh -huh. my, like what my father said, one hand washes up. Mm-hmm. So how do you come up with this? What motivates you to create this music? Life. Just um, general just, experiences. Yeah, just what I go through, what I see. Um, or I could I could watch somebody go through something and then I, I I might feel it and I write about it. But most of the time it's it's my own experiences and mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's somebody else and sometimes it's just bragging because that's what we do in hip hop. Right. You know. I heard you mention a label before we go into the next question. I heard you mention a label, and so were you signed to a label or you always were independent? Um, I'm going to say I always was independent. Yes, I got to deal with a certain label. I don't even want to bring that up, so I'm gonna just leave that out there and I. I did have a certain deal with a certain label, but that's a part of just how you, if it didn't come into full, full, I don't even know if I'm saying the word right, fruition, fruition then, yeah. the, then you um you shouldn't like really bring that up. But I mean, I, I brought it up, so, but I did have a, a, a major deal with a, with a major label and it didn't work out. So then that's what made me put my stuff out myself. So how does that fare now in the industry? Because I know now they're giving out a lot of 360 deals and stuff like that. So... How does that change now as opposed to then you kind of needed a label as opposed to now? Most you, people faring well independent. You still got to take this jacket off. 
Oh, uh, <laughs> now you want to take the jacket off? Yeah, I didn't take my shades off. <laughs> he ain't bring, he ain't bring <laughs> you no ain't let shirts, me stay no cool. Nothing, but he we'll have come. no promo. Right, stuff. we don't have no. You see no shirts, wearing, right? hats, and okay, so bandanas. Here's, 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 here's the deal. Here's the deal. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta show my brand with me. With my upside down. Yeah, you backwards. I'm backwards. Yeah. Okay, there we go. No, no, I'm right. I'm no. right. I'm right. No, you're not. No, you're not. What? I'm not. Switch it around. I swear to you, right? Okay, now order in your life. Yeah, get some, get some, get some order in your life. I need to get some order in my life because yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was supposed to bring them a T-shirt and stuff, but my car is in the shop, so my boxer with my T-shirts and everything is in the shop, and I wanted to get Robin a tank top. You see that? Mm. That's how they treat us at Spotlight. But anyway, we no, 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 no. I got we had a couple people gave you a shout out, Chantel and Solomon. Uh -huh. They gave you a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> what up, right, Solomon? All right, all right. What's up, Chantel? Well, that's, that's uh, my little nephew. Okay. How long you been doing music? Um, I've been doing music all my life. All, like when I say all One my or life. Two years old? No, I've been. Five I've or probably. Six? I've been recording since I was like. Um, I would say starting at. Eleven or twelve. Hmm. Okay. If I can remember eleven or twelve, but I've been writing for a long time. So That's I've been, cool. I've been, then I started producing music. So wait a minute, you started at eleven, and you about, you what, you about forty five, like Stan? No, I ain't <laughs> not we're not about oh, to do okay. that. We're not about to do that. I ain't, ain't forty five like Stan. I'm not, I'm not big. I got, I got, I got to catch Stan. Oh, okay. I got to catch Stan. All right, all right. I hope I can live that long. <laughs> So why y'all trying to make me seem ancient like I'm just some old dinosaur or something? Don't no. hate, don't y'all act like that. Let me knock the dust Keep off waking up every day. Y'all gonna be looking like y'all. Y'all better be hope y'all can be this. You know what I mean? <sighs> so anyway, man, on to the next. Who have you kind of you know rub elbows with in the industry? Some of the names that you you know gotten acquainted with since you've been doing music. Well, I'm not. I'm not in the name dropping. The people that that I'm acquainted with now is a uh, uh, King Conjure. He's from Kenya. Uh, and he has a very big following there, and he's and he lives here in D.C. at two also. Oh yeah, shout out to DMB. Yeah. King Conja, um, uh, Bamboo in Kenya, um, uh, dude named Plex Long. Uh, shout out to Will Wallace. Um, but those are the people, and um, my little brother Troy Gunn, Deuces. He's a big promoter in uh, Orlando. That's and cool. um, other than that. Let me stop saying, um, other than that, I rub shoulders with everybody you can think of personally. And I know them from Jermaine Dupree to um, <coughs> Ashanti. Um, uh, I have friends like Kawan Prather. I say, you know, he's a, a friend of mine. He's an a &R. I, uh, um Travis Knuckles. Just different people I know. In the industry. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, what has been your biggest experience thus far in the music industry? I've had a couple of them, and um, my my dad, I promised him that I would I would only get tattoos every time I did something that was real successful. I went on tour one time, so I got a tattoo for that. That was good. Um, I put an independent record out in 2011, and that went to um, number 89 on BDS and Media Base. That, that's, that's what the labels look at right. to know if you really did those numbers. Right. And it went to number 89. And um, so that was a big success, and um, I think we might have even have a clip of clip of a little bit of that, where a lot of people showed up and a good turnout, and that was a turning point for me because at that point I said, you know what, if my record can do that without major push, mm -hmm. then that means I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, that's mainly what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, hopefully we're gonna show that clip. In yeah, a minute. we're gonna get to that clip in a few, but before we get to that clip, tell me some of more about your success like what are some of the most successful moments that you've had in the industry thus far um i would say like some of acquiring uh record deals but they st when they don't you get excited when that happens but then that's the old school so you don't get excited anymore but just um really what i did in 2011 just putting my records out independently um being able to strategically do what I want to do and then, and then it has a positive effect and I can actually see it. So for me, that's success. That's more real to me. Hmm. And I don't know if I'm pinpointing anything, but, you know, your, your proof is in the pudding when you can show, like, record my video. I flew over to Africa to do my new song, to do a, to do a part of my new video in Kenya, in Nairobi. Okay. 
And then, so we're we gonna show that one. That. We, 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 go, that we, we gonna out. We, we gonna we gonna show that one yeah, on the way out. I brought that video. Okay, so, so we gonna show the. Well, why don't you video. tell us what's the um, up and coming? What's up and coming for order? I mean, what's next for you? Any new projects? What you working on? Well, yeah, I'm working on a remix for the record that I have right now, mm -hmm. and I'm working on putting out two releases in 2015 coming at the top of the year, one after the other one, with uh, two new videos. So that's what yes. I'm working on right now. Okay. And that's for In Your Life Entertainment. That's my own company. In Your Life? In yeah, Your okay. Life Entertainment. So before we get into some more videos, you want to plug some more of your, your where we can what's find your you, your What's your social media, what's your, your all social of that? Media, your website. Your website, your internet, your you can your find Facebook, me. Your you can find Order In Your Life on uh, Instagram at O-R-D-A... Oh my God! What's my what's <laughs> O O R D A underscore letter N Y O U R L I F E. That's order underscore letter the letter N Y O U R L I F E. And you can find me on Twitter at O R D A N Y O U R L I F E. And you can find me on Facebook at O R D A N um space N Y O U R L I F E. And that's order in your life. Or you can find me on orderinyourlife.com. Um, let's see where else you can find me. You can you can Google me. And Google. your music as well. Google. Like yeah, you can Google. It's on YouTube. Oh, oh hold right? up, YouTube. YouTube. You can look, iTunes, you can look for my order music channel. Um, o r d a um, space m u z i k, and you can also look on iTunes for. By even my 2011 release and my new uh, 2014 release. Uh, uh, my song All Night featuring uh, Bamboo. Okay. You can that's on iTunes at O R D A space All Night A L L N I T E, and then you can look up my old song O R D A uh, space Slow. Okay, so we're gonna go to a little clip before we get to your video. We're gonna go to a clip, and then when we come back, you guys, we're gonna get into the topic a little bit because we're gonna run out of time. So um, we we wanted to give Order a fair shot, a fair amount of time on the show to do his thing. But we're gonna come back with the topic. And the topic is <laughs> how do you survive infidelity? infidelity? How do you survive infidelity in a relationship? Is the topic. So, you gotta be grown. You gotta be grown. You gotta be one. grown. And you okay. gotta you gotta grow. Uh, we see what, so we're gonna right, see we're what you gotta say about that. You gotta in get in the chat room when we come back. We'll be right back with the homie order. Dude Whatever I want, I'ma have it. I just reach out and grab it. See, moving up the status for order is automatic. Why you acting all crabs? That's such a bad habit. You give me any static in your ass, I'ma drag it. I'm better than the ad. I'm what you call a maverick. The type to make the mother producers and rappers panic in the street. So fake to the point I can't stand it. Rap game need me like your car need a mechanic. I'm out. When I met you, you was running like 100 every day. Cut you would never tell me no. Now all of a sudden you push buttons. Ain't talking about nothing but how you wanna take it. Slow, slow. I don't wanna break your heart. Don't know if it's gonna work with you. So baby, let's just chill. It's slow down. Slow down. This what Atlanta about. If y'all ain't here, you ain't nowhere. This ain't New York though. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back spotlight over the city with the homie order in the building. My co-host Robin Bryant. <laughs> she funny, ain't she? Y'all have a super duper co-host over there. <laughs> On point, you hear me? So we're going to talk about glasses. it a little bit. Let me know, y'all. Oh, what so y'all You're going to be cool. You're How cool. do you survive infidelity in a relationship? How do you do it? Robin, how do you do that? If your man cheated on you, your husband, your boyfriend, you love him, you want to kind of make it work, what are some of the things you think you can do to kind of overcome? If your girlfriend or cheated on you. If your girl, what about if your girlfriend, if your girlfriend wait, cheated okay, on you? Wait, 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 you do your thing and uh, you get them back and now mentally you straight. It's like now. Nah. Let me put on my jacket. <laughs> what the? What oh, you the? Gonna, <laughs> you gonna put the jacket back on me now? Okay, so okay. Robin, for real, so for real. That's what you got. Um, I'm not gonna say that's what I get. I'm, I'm just telling you what I mean, uh, some people do. 
I'm not now, saying that's what I did. A lot of women. Yes. I'm just saying that's yeah. what some people yeah, do. Yeah, that's a just a pass do. for them to go out and do what they always been wanting to do anyway. Anyway, so it's a go get it free pass. Yeah. And well, then now if you I... get mad that they done got it got free. Then they gonna pay. throw it up. Remember when you did? You did stuff? it first. Yeah, there you go. So you opened the door. So you really would have wanted to do it anyway, but now you got a free pass to go do. What do you think about that order? Well, that relationship gonna go down the trash because anyway. y'all gonna resent each other. I mean, it's y'all gonna, gonna be a mess. Y'all gonna have a bunch of resentment in there, and it's gonna get hot. But then y'all might grow past that and be like, we still love each other if you separate. I think if you cheat, you need to separate for a while. Period. Now for I mean, a while, y'all need no, no. You need y'all need to separate, and y'all need to either go to a counselor. Or y'all need to really be able to talk about let like if I cheated on you, you tell me how you feel, and I listen. Or why you felt like you had to cheat, or and I find that yeah. most men just cheat just because they can. Maybe because they want something. Well, why different. do most women cheat? Yeah. Um, because the man either cheated or because they're not being stimulated mentally. Um, but they were at first, right? Was, he was maybe, a shining on at maybe. first. Right. No, so well, you're not but see, now you're not mentally. doing the things to keep her that you did to get her. But maybe so she now, made that up. Or maybe she could be a hoe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Or maybe. Maybe. Or maybe. Y'all do know that women do Maybe the man could be the hoe. And that's so, the reason why he had to go out there and cheat. And now she had to show you who's boss. For real. Okay. So does that show you who's boss by cheating? <laughs> maybe in her mind it does. show him who's boss. Maybe in her mind it does. Give it away for free. Maybe. Well. What do you mean giving away for free? <laughs> but, what are we talking about here? So all I'm saying. We're talking about we, cheating. Okay. Cheating. I got Infidelity. the answer though, but if they get some order in their life, they all be straight. They I know that's order. right. I know order. that's right. Good plug, order. But <laughs> on, a, on another note, this this is my this, opinion. What's your opinion? I I agree with order. I and and for different reasons. I think I think that if a woman or man cheats on each other, I personally went through that and a woman kind of And you cheated on her first. No, it was her this time. She this time. Yeah, I'm glad you me. said that. Yeah, this time. I, I used to cut up, okay. but I, I, you know, this it, time. I wasn't doing nothing. Mm-hmm. And she, well, I was doing something, but she caught me. I caught her. So You was doing something, wait, wait, but you, you caught see, her. She caught me, but I caught her. No, no, no. He mean? said he really was doing saying? something, I mean, but he didn't get alone. caught. She got caught. Right. That's what he said. Well, what I'm saying is I caught her, so she was having infidelity issues. So the bottom line is, well, but I didn't. But you didn't get caught. So Okay, go ahead. So what I thought was. If this happens in my relationship, it's hard for me to get past it because the trust has been broken. Right. And once you don't have trust, you don't really have that glue. That's right. That it takes to hold that relationship solid. And so why play around with that? And then you risk the chance okay. on that go get a free card okay, that she but, got in her uh-huh, back pocket anyway, But that's anyway, probably man. why she did it anyway. She probably found out she was cheating <laughs> in the whole first place. So the trust was already broken. So when she did what she had to do, now you and your feelings. Now we can't have no so trust. You know now it's like like always the you know man that it, broke it, them it, down. It because like, it is. You know what I mean? I've been got personal Yeah, it's personal. Nah, you know why? Because women, I'm telling you, women, we naturally... Don't cheat uh, naturally. Uh, Robin, For real, we not, do. Uh, I'm telling you, we don't want to cheat. I promise you, we don't want to cheat. I promise you, we are not made like that. Okay, so, on a whole, or as a whole, yeah, as a we're whole. not really made like that. Okay, okay. And all men made to be that way. Yeah. Yo, I agree. How I feel? You think that? You said that. Look, look. <laughs> Eve tried to trick so, the man into eating the apple, so she was already tripping. She was already yeah. tripping, and that's what got us all of sideways. Of course, men gonna say that. Right, so what I'm saying is back to the situation. Infidelity, though, if it happens to you, sometimes you can really love a person. So then, yeah. I mean, like a lot, to the point where you say, okay, I, I, want us, I want us to work this out. So what's the steps that we take? What do we say when we really don't want to walk away from this situation? Yes, it's tough, but I love her, and I don't want to end this. So how do we fix it? Probably have to go to counseling because, I don't know, maybe all the talking before didn't work. And if that was the case, then... You're going to have to need a, a third party. And you can do this step called active listening. And that comes from counseling, like when you active listen. Oh, so listen. you've been to counseling, so tell us about it. Yeah, what's this active listening thing you're talking about? This something. Let different. me do it real quick. Active listening is this. Two people sit down and talk. One person gets to talk. And the other person just has to be quiet. And you cannot speak unless the other person, till the person is done. But that person talking to you cannot use the word you. Because that creates a defense mechanism. They can only, they have to think before they speak. And not using the word you makes you think before you speak. Mm-hmm. So, so when I'm ta- if I'm talking to Robin, and while I'm talking to Robin, if I'm saying, if you I, say like, you I, like, I like, I like, I like. you wayward. Yeah. You, and then make her be defensive. Yeah, to so make her be defensive. You and this finger and this wayward. <laughs> hold on, hold on, okay. hold on. At the, at the Every end, week is. At, at the end of it, then, <laughs> then Robin has to, then Robin has to repeat 
what I said, she has to hit it like bullets. She can't say what she wants to say. She has to repeat what I said and say, this is what I understand you said, blah, 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 blah. Then after she's finished, if she understands what I said, then I say, okay, now your turn. So that proves so that she, she's a listener. She has to listen. She has to listen. The control has to be gone from both people. What's the counselor name? Um, you should give oh, doctor, what's the name Dr. Of the, Whitlow. Dr. 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 Whitlow. Dr. Whitlow. Dr. Whitlow. Oh, what's the name of, of this, of, of the, what you just said? What's the name it's of It's called Active Listening. Active, active Listening. listening. I, I like that. You I like that. that. I think it's good. And I think that we all can use some of that. I know I need to listen more, y'all, in a relationship or whatever the case is. So I believe that in period. infidelity, period, I think that it can be worked out. But I think that the person who creates the infidelity in the situation has to be the one who is willing to work the hardest at making this a safe a safe situation for your mate. Because at the end of the day, your mate just wants to feel safe. They trust. Don't, they don't yeah, it's want, all about trust. It's trust. So you've broken, you've broken that trust, and it's up to you. But now she can't get stiff neck and say, well, you ain't working hard enough, and, and every year is like, when you did, see, because you're not trying to, you know, come into it. And sometimes women can be that way, and men as well can be, you know, kind of stiff. Especially the wayward men. Yeah, wayward. So what y'all think about that? I want to <laughs> hear from y'all in the chat room. Do you think that that's something that can be overcome in fidelity, or do you think that it's just a deal breaker? For most people, it is a deal breaker. I have broken that deal because I just didn't believe that the trust could be mended. Yeah, so because you away. probably because you probably weren't mature enough to handle what was going on, especially if I they wasn't. cheated on you. We put because women men here. Don't we put them here? Y'all can't handle it at no, all. No, no, we can't because we have high expectations of a woman, and nothing can hurt a man worse than a woman, because we love real hard with a woman more than anything in the world. What y'all expect for us to do? Yeah, I don't understand don't that. that. Shout out Shantel But y'all want y'all yeah. want us to to stick around and be able to go through it and you know take it all in and forgive and forget. But you can't do it. Well, yeah, we kind of well, we, we, we no, 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 more no, your no, nature, no. like you say. No, no, no. Not y'all nurturing. Yeah. Y'all nurturing. So you're gonna no, come back and you're gonna you know. That's right. That's right. No, we're not. Where you supposed to be? Okay, and so you so like like I say all the time, women y'all built tougher than men in a certain degree. Yeah, like, like you so like mental tough. Like, like I get this from Stan Anime. You supposed to take what I yeah. said. Oh, did you, you say that? Anime? Anime? I didn't say it. Yeah, order, you know, order makes stuff up. But all I'm simply saying is, uh, oh, either cake anime. I, I didn't say that. But now that we're on the subject, okay. <laughs> hey Keisha, so, I see you in the chat room. So at the end of the day, y'all, what do y'all think now about infidelity? Is it over? Is it totally done? I want to know. Is it something that's a deal breaker? Me personally, infidelity is the one thing that is a deal breaker in a relationship with me. It's a few, but that one. Because once you did that, I'm going to look at you different. Yeah, you can always but what do if it again. But what if we I'm felt gonna, that way and now we're going to look at you different? Then Maybe the, you should. Relationship Maybe you should. Go. Right, but that's probably all, more, all the more reason why the relationship going to have to go. Because now, no matter how much time, I'm going to tell you, I haven't had this experience. I didn't trust somebody from the beginning and well, stayed with them go. for like six years. Well, what do and you it mean? still ain't work. It still ain't work. So my thing is, you need to just cut your losses from the beginning. Well, you didn't trust them from the beginning. You shouldn't even been in the relationship. I, that's my with. point. Well, I can tell you. So that. you try to try to try. Old people probably don't go through that. Old people probably be no, like, you can do what you do. I'm tired. It doesn't four matter. You, with, you was with her last week. Okay, I give it. I give you about two weeks, and because you come back over it, here. As long as he took it to the house, that was that wasn't okay, so to speak, but it was accepted. And so now, of course, it's not accepted. Not saying that it should be, but infidelity is bigger now than I think ever before. And so what said that's not fair, it's a double standard. It's always a yes, double standard. Yes, it's a double standard. And I but that's the reason it. why I'm these agreeing. days women are starting to act like men. And then and when, when women need. do it, and then when women do it, y'all can't handle and it. We can't handle it. I'm being okay. honest because that's the most devastating thing that can happen to a man is his significant other. At the end of the day, when y'all get older, women, gonna really, they really, really want one man and one man to love them. When we get older, we still be them men. You know, we them boys. Okay. We them boys. We, them boys, we, get, yeah. we get older. So like y'all be get, looking at clocks girls. and wanting to know we don't we're, have no clock. Yeah, we ain't got no clock. We're good. Clock. So now that's the reason why y'all start dating younger. No, girls. you not just probably so like y'all them like, men. Actually, that sounds like boys. Yeah, we say now we y'all gotta revert it back to boys. Yeah. 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 boys. Maybe or maybe yeah. a boy on that uh -huh. subject, but you know, men taking care of stuff financially. Yeah. But you know, which y'all feelings? Okay, so kind of if we can go all go to that, and we can all, all can't just do be, that. Why we can't do that? Because you're, you're 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 internal. We're external. 
So that's another show. So back to the... <laughs> like, so like... Like, <laughs> like Chantel said, it's over. It's if over. one partner is out, it takes two that really wants that relationship. It does. And that's what I was saying. Like if your mate is not putting in effort, you cheated. But the man you ain't going to put high cool post, off like no, you don't. Okay, the man not going to put no, forth no effort because now your little feelings is hurt. And now you can't take it. But so that's all the more yourself. reason why the woman might as well just leave now and cut her losses because you're never going to get over it. That's not true, but you have to make us feel comfortable by getting no, over. You I have tell to you, let you us have what? a safety zone. You, yeah, but but it, safe it, enough. It, but staying truthfully, it'll take it'll take us to have distance from that woman for a, a long while. Yeah, but in, in that distance, now you out hoeing with everybody else. So Why we gotta be hoeing because all that's the time. what y'all do, but and now that's more of an excuse for you to do well, that. Maybe you just so have don't bad even experience. act like uh-uh, don't even act like you ain't gonna do that. We don't just be hoeing. I don't know where you been, Robin, but we don't. If police, I don't know why Robin been dating all these. Hey, Atlanta, Washington, D.C., wherever, Baltimore, hoes. So that's uh, where we are? Oh, so it's going to be all right. We're going to yeah, be all right. Hey, listen, y'all right. already, y'all see what's going on down. here. Look, we calm got, down, yeah, it's okay, <laughs> baby. It's calm, okay. Calm it's okay. Look, Cause you got, you got, okay, this? Cause you got you a little friend up here yeah. that's on your side. We want you back every week. Hey, order. Hey, order. We need you every week. Okay, you know who really, you know who rules this house. You know who rules this house. On that note, y'all, spotlight on the city, y'all. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Thanks the one man spoke. Me. Thanks for everybody to being in the Thanks, chat room. Order. Thanks for your Thank comments. You. <laughs> Thanks for getting some order in our life. We're going to pray for Robin once again this week. Your prayers worked on the young lady. Yes, Thank God for that. So she if you know, if it worked on that young lady, it can work on and Robin. And it can work on his as well. And on his you understand way what I'm saying? Shout out to order, all his movement. <laughs> Look for him, order music. We're going to be following um, him around. Yeah, yeah the camera's going to be on him, y'all, because we got him, like I said, he's a part of the family. So, really, he's just sitting at home like we always do every week. This is Spotlight. What was that city. move? That was, that? that was just a muscle. I'm coming. Muscle. Order in the light. <laughs> oh, okay. You so, know, on that note, y'all, flex. stay no positive. Flex. Zone. <laughs> stay positive. Always keep positive in your life. We can't say infidelity is a deal breaker, but for most it is. If you have that situation, see if it's important enough to you to kind of make amends if you have children definitely i would say try to work it out if you can try to work it out i don't out. agree if you with can't that but that's work a whole nother story yeah i mean that's a whole not just show. for the kids but if it's a you know because how you know your next mate won't cheat so no like doubt. i mean at the end of the day if you have some substance with this woman or this man then try to make it work if you can't then just make it the best for the children on that note love hard live good god first spotlight over the city we will see you next next week week i put the spotlight on your city city i put the spotlight on your city see the superstar superstar hollywood to hollywood Spotlight on your city, Carolina, Philly. I put the spotlight.